So I could try and keep some of these, because I, I do still need the goose achievement. I don't think any of these are that fun to keep, but I don't know, Tamarin could be okay as well, maybe. But in any case, I will buy <laughs> basically everything. And yeah, this be the silver scallywags to start. Have I been doing? Uh, took way too long to get out of bed today. I did not sleep well. Other than that, I can't complain too much. Watch you a lot more on YouTube. I figured I'd pop in to say hi. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Glad to have you anyway. Surprised I have a ribbon you don't. I mean, most of the ones that I serve remaining are um things I don't use very often. Like, I never use the Wildebeest. I think it could be good, but you need to have both Trumpet Generation and Scaling. And yeah, don't usually go for the same thing in one thing. I don't feel like Manatee is very good. Uh, no reason to keep a Stoat and no reason to keep Tier 1s, so... <laughs> That's my reasoning, anyway. And I think I'm just going to stack that. I genuinely think having more Chimunks is probably better for me. So, I don't know. Maybe you should have thrown Goose to the front, though. Yeah. Worked out about the same. And I do win, at least. There we go. Trophy. A robot dog. Hello. I'm going to be trying Wild Frost again. Because I actually, I played it to... Uh, Oh, how long ago? Two, three days ago? And I still love the game. Uh, couldn't handle it last time, but... <laughs> yeah, it is a fun game, and I watched Retromotion play a, a run today, so I've learned some more of the basics. So you've been playing some offline Wild Frost? Yeah. I'm debating restarting the save, though, because now I just have tons of dead runs on it, which... Because I, I, I still didn't know what I was doing, you know? And I still don't, but... Yeah, at least I get the concept of combos now, and <laughs> know what most of the mechanics do. Still have no idea about the village stuff, but... Oh well. Um, I'm gonna keep rolling here, because... Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. It's either give this an apple, or I just keep rolling for goose and doorhead ant level up, and I think I'm going to do that. Use you as well. Um, could freeze two cherries in case I don't find another doorhead ant. Because... I don't know, I want to wait on the goose buy as well, so I guess I do want to just buy, like, double cherry next turn. Probably onto the doorhead ant and baboon, but then I'll have to move baboon somewhere else. Works for me, though. Dying is very normal in Wild Frost. It is, but it's like... I don't know, it's definitely a very punishing game. Every time, every time I play or I see someone else playing, I can just tell that if they mess up on one thing, then, you know, their main character just gets one shot and then you lose the run. It's like, ooh... It's a fun game, but ouch. Retro makes it look so easy. I'm actually going to disagree, because towards the end of the run I was watching, he was ta like taking like three minutes per decision. Which, you know, makes complete sense, because there's so much to work out, but oh, it's scary. And... Hold on. Put an Ant Queen IRL. Ant Queen. Okay, hold on. Anyway, take these. We're still keeping that frozen. I'm not touching chocolate cake. So, I don't know. Do I sell possum just to get my goose on the team to save money? I think I will. Kind of wish I had done it earlier, but I was really holding out hope that I could find another another doorhead ant. But, oh well. At least I have this ready for next turn so I can start scaling up a tier 3. Works for me too. And that was unfortunate. Yeah, it's a loss. Damn. I'm triple... Oh, triple Triceratops on turn 7, your first weekly attempt. And already had a level 2 elephant. I still don't know if I've done that build yet. I know I've tried it once, but I don't think I've had any wins with elephant Triceratops. But it is interesting. Um, I'm probably going to grab a flea, because I don't use them very often, and they're, they're pretty good. Manta Ray, though. Um... Okay, I think I don't go for Goose here. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sell, like, Chipmunk Goose and run Flea Manta Ray, so then I can scale something up and have the money from this. And, I don't know. I can see if I can find anything to give that before I sell it. I don't really want it to be an egg, though. So it'd have to be cherries, but it's not worth it either. But I don't want eggs. <laughs> nah, just sell it. Sell it, buy a lettuce. Um, stack Baboon. Don't play it separately, I think. I'd rather have the money. There we go. Okay, let's do... I guess it has to be something like that. I don't want my, my cherries at the back. 
And I want to have my fleet at the front, so that means these do have to be in the middle somewhere. And yeah, that works out. Alright, cool. Some Fretro is new of its. He only loses because he wants to get teams he doesn't usually go for. That was what I was watching, to be fair. The one I was watching today had a um a pomom. I'm definitely saying that wrong. <laughs> it's it's the thing that does five damage to all undamaged enemies, and he added two charms to it to both um it, it basically changed its damage to like twelve and completely removed the effect, so it instead hit like the first two things, regardless of if they were full HP or not. But it was um yeah, very, very big damage. Do I hold off on this or do I buy it right away? Because I'd love more of these. I don't know if I'd go for manatee, but maybe. I'm just going to do it right now. Let's get more scaling going. And buy this. Buy a lettuce again. And roll, I think. I think we're done with Baboon. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. I will buy sell Stoat. And I don't know about Flea. If I'm going to try to go for an achievement, then I am going to have to make room. And if I'm having... If I'm investing in Manta Ray, then I probably need to find, um, you know, Bird of Paradise and then a couple of other things. Maybe Wildebeest and... Highland Cow, so I probably can't keep this for as long as I'd like. So, yeah, I don't know. For now, pretty good, but maybe don't worry about trying to level it up. Really good to download and watch on long journeys. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I would love to. Like, actually, I am going on holiday in summer. I'm going to be gone for, like, a couple of weeks. Um, Start of... July, I think? Oh yeah, we're in June, so it's definitely not <laughs> definitely not June, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be reading. Because I don't know how you watch stuff on planes. The ones I go on do not have <laughs> TVs for everyone. And I doubt I'd do it on my phone. Um, it's either buying avocados or just trying to find more manta rays. And I'd much rather find more manta rays. I just want to level this up. No. Oh, fine. Okay, we'll try and do that then. I will buy a banana. And then I'm rolling the rest. <laughs> rolling the rest. Please, let me get a level on this. I want to use this, but I need... I need the game to let it happen. Okay. That's kind of bad. <laughs> yep. Spooky. You don't necessarily go on holidays, you just have a lot of stuff on. I mean, fair, but I still don't go anywhere. When I go places, it's always very close. Or I'm, like, cycling there, so I definitely wouldn't have the ability to watch something at the same time. Oh, I may just buy these, and then we can just try and look for chocolate the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I mean, there's no more of these. It's getting very big, and I'd like to move it further forward, but I also don't want to waste my... <laughs> one of my cherries, a tutu of stats. Ouch. Ouch, alright. And Reese, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I feel like I need to grab these, and I may do it at the cost of my Manta Ray. You know, getting a trigger. I could also sell that, but I don't think it's worth doing yet. It depends what we find, honestly. I just want Baboon to actually hit something and something good. Um, you definitely. German Shepherd. You're not amazing. No, leave German Shepherds. I could buy, sell, well, you know, sell Doha buy, sell this, and then, you know, give it to Waffle, get loads of stats and everything. I don't think that's bad. We can still get some extra money out of this. And I'm buying avocados. I think I maybe try and pivot away from Manta Ray. Or, I don't know. At least not worry about that to be my main money generation. And that's my only trumpet thing now, so I could definitely change it like this. Yeah, we'll see. And thank you for the hydration, I needed the reminder. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's fine, actually. I got all three triggers. Okay, so we got like, what, we're starting with 18? We're starting with 18, huge. Do I roll for... No, oh, no, I think I still buy avocados. I want to try and find Bird of Paradise as soon as possible, so... I'll try and make that like, available. And I don't want banana, I'm just gonna keep rolling. It was uh, worth something. Alright, that was a very good turn. We're going to be starting next turn with a lot of gold, hopefully. Depends if we can get more triggers out of this. 
but yeah, I know I could have bought um, a banana or something, but I want bitter bread or trumpets. Probably bitter bread, but you know. Lots of good things though. I almost get two turns in one. I mean, what is this? What do you call this then? That's almost like triple. <laughs> okay, I'm leveling this right now. And we need to find Bird of Paradise ASAP. And I'm going to roll. Like, this doesn't work with the flea, but I need Bird of Paradise. You're not going anywhere either, so come on. Bird of Paradise? No. I could buy sell you, but we're going to hard roll. You hard roll. I need this bird. You're not going anywhere either. Just buy it. I could freeze Highland Cow or just sell the flea. I think I am going to have to have this on the squad. What I'm not sure is if I do go for an achievement, like, I think Wildebeest is the only one that I'd go for, but I can't do it with, like, two money generators, Bird of Paradise, a Highland Cow. You know? I don't know. I'm going to do this, but, yeah, we may have to abandon that dream. And you know what? Just freeze that by this. I'd rather have the extra gold next turn. So you can hit that. Still getting some value, but Baboon will be going as soon as we find Bird of Paradise. What am I hunting this game? Hopefully the Wildebeest, but... I don't think it's worth buying unless I have the Bird of Paradise, so... Ugh. Okay. Bird of Paradise, no. <laughs> Where is it? I mean, this is kind of nice, but... Uh, I, need, I need stats. I'm not going to bother with the Waffle, but... I like buy sell these. Still can't pretzel because of you. Okay, there it is, but it is a bit late. Uh, yeah, I don't think I buy that this turn. I'm also gonna leave the pretzel because I can still roll a few times. Use you. Oh. Uh, freeze everything. Let's hope that we don't die. And I was really hoping to find some better equipment for that, but. Now, nah, roll for chocolate. We're still going to want that. Okay, let's see what this can do. Still very afraid. But we might have loads of money, and that is definitely a big plus. And big, thank you for the prime. Very kind of you. No, not dead. Not dead somehow. <laughs> we can try and pivot away from Boone. Okay. I'm going to buy sell these, by the way. I'm not keeping them. Um, pit red first to get the trigger, and then I can start doing this, and it won't hit them. Unless I do stack them all. If I stack them all, it's basically just to try and get the the 1 in 9 or 10, whatever this is. But I think I'd rather just get the stats, honestly. And it may hit it, but oh well. Okay. Nearly empty shop there. Come on, let me level this thing up. Yeah. Or you. Um, might be better to start with this, because I'm very afraid of dying still. And I could freeze Wildebeest just to see. I don't know. Because I want to go for the achievement, but it's not... It's not right. Let's buy that. Leave the Wildebeest for now. I may end up pivoting away from Bird of Paradise once my team is a little bit bigger, but... Yeah, I can't do that yet. I have no idea about the chocolate, though. Maybe I... Maybe I don't bother with that. I'm going to keep it frozen, but maybe I do just use, like, Bird of Paradise for a couple more turns, then I try and freeze every Wildebeest I see. That's probably the only way I'm going to get this to work for an achievement. But I do wish I had managed to get the Bird of Paradise off the ground a little bit earlier. Would have helped out a lot. And, yeah, we're going to buy-sell a lot of things here. <laughs> I'm keeping this frozen. Alright, so we can do that again. I need to roll once. I don't want to waste the stats. Roll once. Spice all you. There's another world beast. Don't care about that. Um. Yeah, I genuinely don't know. Because I really don't want to waste the manta ray money. Because that's a lot. I could probably just buy sell to scale pretty well. Depends on how many of these I find though. Just, just having money is good. I'm just going to run it, I think. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. <laughs> nah, we're done with that, I think. Like, I need the Matare money. Too much. I will buy this, because it does hit things I care about. And... 
Maybe it's time to finally test this, because I need to see it myself. I don't know what happens when you have a tomato with a wildebeest. Because this is before attack. But this is also before attack, so I don't know which triggers first, and this is my test. Alright, so I'm selling the Bird of Paradise. Doesn't feel good, but I want my Manta Ray money. Um, I think I can leave everything where it is, so I'm just going to do that. And yeah, let's see. Am I winning? I don't know. I just sold my... It does work! I just sold my Bird of Paradise in a money build. Despite not having a full team of 50-50s. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know. It's something. Alright, I think pretzels are worth it. I know I'm near the end of the game, but I do need... Bigger things as well. Uh, lettuce is a maybe... It's kind of helpful for both, but I'm going to roll a bit now to try and find the final Wildebeest, I think. Uh, it doesn't matter which way I do this, so that's cool. Hey, I'll keep that. Stack that by you. Roll three more times. Nice. Um, I think they on there is a lot better as well. I could maybe try and find some other thing to throw on the team, because it's not like I'm going to need a final Manta Ray right at the end. Well, you know, if it's going to be the final turn, that's not what I'm going to need. <laughs> Multiple Manta Ray triggers. Uh, this seems okay. Okay, yeah, okay, we, get, we have the setup. Just let me win this fight. <laughs> that's all I'm asking, game. Free money, sure. Alright, do this. Grizzly Bear is pretty good. I think that is what I'm going to throw to the back here. Hey, and I can level him. And maybe buy the lettuce as well. I really do want more stats on these two, and this one, this guy also gets something, so... Buy that, and then try and find, like, a potato or something for this. He can survive one tomato, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, leave chocolate. This is not good enough right now. We do need potato. Great. Alright, throw that. I will now start freezing chocolate, because... Why not? If there are more turns, then maybe I do try and level him up. But otherwise, I think this is an okay team. Send. Did I ping Discord? I think. Wait, I'll check after this fight. I may have messed up the, the tag, but this looks good. I think this is an achievement. We did it. We did it. I have the Wildebeest. It was kind of, it was kind of a janky setup. Had way more money than I knew what to do with, but we got there. We got one. Good game. Good game. And yeah, let me check if I did... I did send a, a ping. Yeah, I did go out. Two chunks in a row. I did notice. Normally it's a lot harder to find levels, but that was pretty good. Alright, let me go again. And you know what? I'm gonna freeze an apple and save my money. Let's be the elderly cucumbers. And yeah, I'm probably going to put the apple on here next turn. Ah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm doing it. I'm just buying that, buying these. And freeze this? I think that's fine as well. Just do it like that, maybe. I love having double goose for my frontline magpie, though. That's going to be pretty helpful. Should be lots of triggers for my silk moth, though. And yet, they goosed my one as well, so it kind of sucked. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm just stacking magpie. I don't want sea turtle. I may try and keep the geese, because I do need that again. But, yeah, we'll see. I just don't want any of that. Love a stilt. Lizard can be interesting. Uh, yeah, maybe double combine, double buy for now. And freeze both of these. And save money. So I can't have you at the front. But do I want the Silk Moth on you or to try and get more stuff out of the Lizard? I honestly don't know. I'm going to try it with the Lizard because I'm trusting that if I can get like two Lizard Tails out of it, then it'd be amazing. But there's a good chance it'll just, you know, <laughs> insta die or something. Yeah, like I only got one trigger there. Do a Sloth only run, then give me all the Sloths. Alright. Yeah, let's just buy these. 
Buy those. I may reposition a little bit. Love having that, and I can still buy one of these. Um, I think I invest in this over, over Lizard. I don't think I'm going to go too hard on that. I know I'm not using my Goose properly either, but I'm not convinced. Oh, <laughs> oh that kind of sucked. Okay, at least this will win. It was Slothathon. I haven't had an Arena Sloth in like eight months. <laughs> There's just no way I'm not subjecting myself to a Slothathon stream till I find a Sloth. Um, at least looks nice. Moon can be cool as well, but I don't have a thing for it yet. Get rid of you. You're definitely getting added. I want to buy the Baboon as well, but I don't know what I'd buff and I don't really want the Meerkat. I think I just roll, honestly. Maybe buy avocados and just kind of let the team do whatever feels right. Okay. Um, you know what? Yeah, put you at the front. I think everything else is fine where it is. I definitely want to have the Silk Moth with the Magpie. I'm just hoping I don't run into other other geese. And I didn't, but I didn't get the best traits. Good. hello. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to stack. I'm not going to buy a lettuce. And I don't want to buy more cherries either. I don't need the Silk Moth, right? No. I don't know what to do. I'm ever going to keep this. Because like, I want to go for the achievements, but Goose is such a bad one. Maybe I just like, wait for Manatee or something. Maybe just get rid of it. Don't worry so much. And yeah, buy this. Freeze that. Um, this here, maybe? If nothing else, like, even if these will get one shot, then it may help out with the dog guy summon at the end, because I will have, like, an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, that is horrifying. No. <laughs> okay. A much stronger team than I had. Fine, fine. Okay, let's get the combos. Early Macaque, pretty good. Early Nurshark. Uh... <laughs> Both very good. I think Nurshark would be easiest to get an actual win with. But I'm debating... I don't know, I could maybe go for like Primate build if I could get a banana tea. But yeah, I think I just need to play this, ignore you, and then keep pushing money forward. I could Chocolate Cake actually, because this is still like a lot of... A lot of stuff. I feel like it's worse the earlier you get it. But at the same time, being able to do like two insta kills could be very helpful. And it is! Nice. How many achievements do you have, Mr. Snack? I don't know, but the ones that I have left are all here. It is just the ribbons, and there's like seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six achievements. And then the sloth, I guess. Um, yeah, we're rolling this. I need... I don't know, I could buy a banana. It's a little bit better than some of the stuff I have, but I just want to look for stuff at tier 5. So, yeah, give me every avocado you will. And, I don't know, I could lettuce these two, but I'm just going to roll twice and like, let that do something, I think. Okay. Did I get Lizard Tail? Yes. Yeah, I got all the secret achievements, like... The day or the day after it came out, but I did it with a custom pack, because you can't do it in the golden pack. That's the issue here. Because the damage I'm doing from the snipes is overkill. Um, I'm going to sell the Silk Moth. Let's get the extra money. Nope. <laughs> Leave Wolf. I just need to go really hard on the Shark. So show me Nyala. Show me Nyala. Show me more of these. Please. Nyala, good. I can do that and feel pretty good as well. And there's more. Perfect. Okay. Um, Magpie goes next. Like, there's no reason to have both of these, right? Do I need that many snipes? I don't think so. I'm just going to stack that. Okay. Okay, do something like this. I like having my, like, slug at the back in case everything on my team just kind of explodes, so I still have some summons <laughs> left after. 
At least I still summon a 2020 after this. It got me through. They didn't have anything. Does the guinea piglet still show in your achievements? No, that is gone. They took away my guinea piglet achievements. And this is six trumpets, but also, like, I really want to buy some of the stoats, and I don't want to combine these. I'm tempted to do that, but yeah, let's get rid of it. It wouldn't be staying much longer anyway. Beluga whale is insane. And I'm debating freezing chocolates and looking for a new <laughs> Nyla or Nurshark to feed it. Oh my god, okay. Come on. Come on, Nyla or Nurshark? Oh, actually, just buy this for now, because otherwise I'm, I'm dumb. So yeah, this has nothing in it at the moment. That is fine. But if I can find another one. If I can find something to put inside, then that is a GG. Uh, that's not great. Kind of close, but not great. Chug, chug. Will do. Hey. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. I want to feed one to that. I guess I could use both to feed to it, but... I don't know, it doesn't feel right. And I don't want to do that. Keep them frozen. See if I can find um something better. Like, I don't think Pitta Bread's going to be it, because I'm not going to be giving that stats. Tomato's fine. And then Pteranodon is amazing. <laughs> there we go. And then just keep that frozen for a minute. If I can find chocolate, then I can still feed that to you, and then everything will be great. Okay, never mind. Maybe I do just try and level this one. Or I could, like, try and go for a different one. Yo, maybe. I love this, though. Pteranodon with my frontline Nyala here. That's going to be... Yeah, two level twos there. Oh, yeah. Too good. Too good. It's not a... It's not an achievement run at the moment, but... I don't know. I don't feel too safe when I'm on <laughs> 1 HP. Ah, uh, what do I do? That has to happen. I want to combine there and play a new Beluga, but... I don't know. It might interfere with my other stuff. Probably not. Let's keep it frozen for now. Keep it frozen, keep rolling. I need to find... Like, one more chocolate will let me decide what to do here. Because if I can combine those and level it up, then great. But otherwise, I don't want to do it. But, I don't know. My build is still very... I wouldn't say weak, but it's definitely... It <laughs> can get dismantled by certain things. And that is almost a problem. Very, very close. Big drinker. I drunk! The water bottle can? No, it's like a foot away from my mic. But you don't get a cam. You just get my verbal whatever that is there. Drink on the stream? I am! You just can't see it. I don't know. If I combine there, I'm probably dead. I'm just gonna keep these. I just wanna find like one more thing. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's go. Alright. Doing that. Um, I think I need to start with this, because getting the extra trumpets means more than just this having another like a third nurse shark. So yeah, I'm starting here. Starting there, we don't need oyster. I don't know what I'm doing with so many of these. But I will freeze them anyway. Um, yeah, we'll do something like that. This is a little bit scary, because it means this is more likely to get sniped by something. But, yeah, it looks like that's not a concern right now. Oh my god, this is <laughs> killing all the pigs! That's not what I need. Smile, hello! What an alcoholic. It's water! It's in a flask thing. Hydro flask, sorry. Plus thing makes it sound even worse. <laughs> I'm doing this. I am chocolate caking my other guy. There we go. And I'm kind of tempted to find another one for you, and then I can have like a ton of nurse sharks. Just have this is my Nyala. Nyala, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have a lot of trumpets, but I do have a lot of snipes. So that's kind of cool. What I do need to do is level my Pteranodon, though. That would actually just be GG. 
Nice team, dude. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. It's so mean. Can I level this, please? I don't have a use for that. I don't want to level this again. Like, I know I could get it to level 3 and then, you know, give it different equipment, but... It's not worth it. Leveling this would be huge. And I know, like, buying pretzels is still something, but... My god, I've seen so many of these. Okay. Well, we found one more XP, I guess. Full <laughs> chocolate cake build. It actually could be. I don't think I'd want to risk it, but there's potential for that to work. Actually, no, they, yeah, there would be potential for that to work, because, um... You know, I'd still summon my dog at the end. I'm not doing it, but... <laughs> Come on, just give me the level. No. Oh. Well, a little bit late. Oh well. Hopefully it'll be a draw and then I can do it because I wanted to see it so badly. Um, and I have a Nurshark right to the back of my team. That's fine though. Yay! Yay, Trumpet Scum! Everyone's favorite. <laughs> Everyone's favorite overpowered golden pack build. Okay, good stuff. Alright, like how fast? 